everybody to the Truth Defender podcast, where we might not always agree uh, with each other's point of views, but I damn sure die for your right to express it. Uh, I'm your host, Paula Aguilar. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Uh, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. Um, also hit that like button um, as it helps us with YouTube's algorithms. Uh, we'd really appreciate it as we try to get this whole podcast off the ground. Um, today, we're joined by an old friend of mine. Uh, his name is Brian Mitchell, um, host, right, of the Truth Be Told podcast. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So um, go ahead and explain what else you guys got going on, because I see you guys, like, on Facebook doing a whole bunch of other things as well. Well, the, well I'll tell you, the, the Truth Be Told podcast started in October, um, and it was just it was just pretty much because I like to talk shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what it started as, but then it became, you know, on the... On the move, been a, you know getting out the military in 2018. Right. I'm like, man, I I I do not ever in my life want to work for anybody ever again. Yeah. I didn't want nobody to control my money. I didn't want nobody to control my economy. Yeah. So, so I start like intentionally surrounding myself with people that were doing things, and then finding out like, what do you do and how did you do it? What are your strides? What are your tribulations? What are your successes? What would you do? differently like all these different things so we can for one get some information and maybe implement it two that we can understand wh which way not to go when we're trying to do something right. another one is finding the resource and lastly is is to help people not quit at that time when it when it, when it gets hurt because if you're going to find if you whatever you're going to do from the ground up you're going to have a, a few moments where you're like yeah, i just i just don't want to be there i don't want to do it i don't want to I just want to go back to what you're normally used to, the safe place, that net. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now it's coming. Is now it's becoming and 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 it's got it's national now. <clears throat> you know, it's playing. And last time I checked, um, eight different states like organic. This is organic. Right. Um, it's been it's being it's being featured on college campuses now. So working on that, I man. I'm just blessed now because I got a team. It started yeah. with one. Yep. Now it's a, a squad, and we just moving and grooving, staying active, staying focused. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. You got to stay straight, man. Yeah, so. I'd be distracted out there. Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, and like I said, so when I say old friend, so we we were stationed together back in, what, 2009, 2010 uh, in Charleston. Um, oh, Goose Creek? South yeah, bro. Girl. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> It's been since then since I've actually seen you or like had you know any kind of conversation with you. Um, so yeah, it's been about about eight eight nine years or so, yeah, ten years maybe. Ten years. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been ten years. Yeah. Yeah. So so you're you're out there in LA or or San Diego? San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. Okay. Yeah. So so like when this whole coronavirus thing hit, right? So it's shit. Everybody's been kind of locked down for about the past two months or so. Um, I know San Diego kind of really wasn't hit too bad um but what was kind of like the vibe out there like was this was everybody locked down still like everybody else or how did that go no it, when it, it it was a progressive hit yeah you know what i'm saying as soon as la shut everything down san diego shut everything down and it it was it was it was a ghost town like i stay downtown right and it's it's always it's always active downtown now it's a ghost city you know what yeah. i mean and, and a lot of homeless have taken over the over a lot of downtown, you know. So it's it, it's it, it hit. Yeah, it hit. It hit. <laughs> it yeah. hit hard. Yeah, because you so like you see, you see videos like online and stuff. So they were like arresting people at the beaches just for kind of standing out there. Right. They were passing laws where you couldn't like sit on the beach. You could just kind of walk through, and you know it was getting crazy, especially like in LA. Now they're trying to take money away from the police departments. I heard about that, the funding. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that, I feel like it was kind of like a perfect storm, right? So everybody was locked in their houses for months. And then this, this, this whole tragedy happened with George Floyd. And I just feel like being locked in the way everybody was, like no jobs, no money coming in. People were, were struggling, trying to pay rent, trying to put food on the table, coupled with this whole thing. It was really like a perfect recipe, right, for for people being angry. They were already angry before it even started. Then that kind of just pushed everybody over the edge. You know, like, how, did you see kind of the same thing out there? Because I know in Minneapolis and Minnesota is like, it exploded out there, man. 
Right. It is. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the same page. I'm like, how ironic. <clears throat> you get, you close the, you close the whole, pretty much the whole world down. Yeah. Okay. And and then you, with no, with no time limit. So, you know, people, you know, we all get fearful when we don't know what's ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you say we're gonna, we're gonna close the city down. I mean, close the world down. <clears throat> then you post. I mean, then you, you know celebritize how many people are dying from the whatever i don't even know what you know respiratory diseases yeah 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 <laughs> respiratory diseases and then you, ex- you, you 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 see like from country to country city to city everybody's being affected right and then then it's all shut down yeah everything shut down like nobody's moving nobody's doing anything businesses are going out of business uh, when you shut the casinos in Vegas down, it's I know. It's serious. <laughs> it's serious. Yeah. <laughs> yep, the mob wants their money, you know? man. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then and then as soon as stuff starting to lighten up just a little bit, mm-hmm. the tragic George Floyd came, and this is what two, three, maybe a month that people got their stimulus check. Cause I ain't still got mine. I ain't got oh, mine, shit. but people got they people got they check, right? Mm-hmm. It was cool. And then George Floyd hit, and you got caged animals, right? That barely like to be they they've been caged in with people they don't really usually like. Husbands don't like their wives, wives don't like their husbands, kids don't like their parents, parents don't like their kids. Mm-hmm. Everybody's upset. Yeah. And then you give people that don't have no job, mm-hmm. ain't got no money, ain't got nothing to do, and you get them to do something that has. And then you say, guess what? Fuck Corona, we about to go bust everything. Like I don't get it. Like just 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 a, just three weeks ago, bro, everybody was scared to even touch either keep touch each other yeah. or even be around each other. Mm-hmm. Now we got people in the masses side by side. You get what I'm saying? Yep. I, like I'm I'm confused. What's yeah. the, like, <laughs> well, it was only it, it's only fine to go out and, like. Uh, there's no virus all of a sudden when everybody wants to go out and do something. I, I think they were saying that there was like something like 19,000 cases that went up. You know, that's what they said. I don't know, but where? Yeah, I don't know exactly. But I mean, it's just like all of a sudden it was just gone. Like it was, it didn't work. So it's on to the next thing. Right. Um, and, it, it was, and now they're about to open the city up. They're about to open, yeah. like, I don't know about Texas, but they opened it up uh, California on Monday. Yeah, so so like here in Dallas, right? When it when it first hit, we kind of halfway went down. Like not everything was closed all the way, and mm-hmm. there were still kind of some things that were open here and there. I mean, they had that that case of that lady here in Dallas where she was trying to open her salon up, um, and then the cops came and they put her in jail. Um, and then I think wow. it, it was it was Governor Abbott. Um, he him with a lot of other people around the state. They made it to where she can get out because. I mean, she has to she has to provide for her family, obviously. But then she had a bunch of other people that work for her that were telling her, "Hey, I, you know, like my kids are starving. We need to put food on the table. Can you open up? Like, what are we gonna do?" They were taking jobs on the side, where they would show up to people's houses and like, you know, do their hair stuff like that. Um, and yeah, they, so she opened up. They arrested her, and then I think they let her out like a few days later. But um, that's you know when the, they eventually opened everything up. So it wasn't completely down, but there was, you know, a lot of places that were down now were, I mean, restaurants are open, bars are open. It's slowly coming back, but we weren't. I went to a bar last night. Did it you? Was great. <laughs> Dude. I'm not going to lie. It was great. <laughs> it was, so there's like the, the thing that we were talking about the most, of like the outcome of the, the whole coronavirus thing, everybody being locked down was one of two things. One, after this is all over, you're going to see a shit ton of kids being born just like, like, right. (laughs) Or like massive divorces. Like we're talking about. So people are going to not want to be around their house, their their wife or their husband and going to work or the bar or whatever was kind of their only escape every day. So now you're stuck with each other, man. And like I said, yeah, a lot of kids, (laughs) it's going to be another baby boom. It's like the war. Right. So we're going to see a whole bunch of kids out of this as well, or a lot of divorces or whatever. Or both. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> it's definitely going to be, you know, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, I mean, it, we are in a different, we are in the the middle of different. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. We're in the right in the midst of shit not ever ha- being the same ever again. Nothing's gonna. It's never. It's, I think we have these times. I think because what, what? How old are you? Uh, I'm Late 34. 20? No, I'm 34. Oh, okay. So we we're 80s babies, right? Yeah. And and I do believe this is. You know, every generation or every other generation has those very moments that where we stop doing what we used to, mm-hmm. and then something, and then we start doing things a new way. When we, when the, like say, when it's like slavery, when slavery ended, that was a different time in life. And then um, the Civil War, you know, that was a different time. And then the Great Depression, this uh, civil rights, you know, the '80s, the '80s uh, crack epidemic. You get what I'm saying? Yep. 90s, we had the the riots you know, the, three, the riots and the three strikes, and then 2000, it was 9/11. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. These, <laughs> these, it's always these something. Are, it's always something, but you know, but now that we have what social media, everybody has a camera. Think about if think about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, when JFK got killed. Like, what if social media was around that was time? Was prevalent at that is in in that time? Yeah. If, when they killed Martin Luther King, do you not think that the world would have went to war with each other? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's funny though. You know, you speak about Martin Luther King. So, I mean, I obviously wasn't alive for that time, but from what I can, you know, take from say like my my dad or like my grandfather, who was around at that time, you know, the as big as Martin Luther King was and what he stood for and everything and how he changed the world there wasn't this kind of outrage and like violence and burning shit down and fucking killing people in the streets. Like, you know, I I can't help but think, you know, the election's coming up this year. Um, (laughs) Right. So yeah, you know, so bad about that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right around the corner. But like, so, I mean, you see throughout history, right? When like every four years, I don't, I don't really care, you know, if you're like a Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter. But statistically, historically, every four years, you see the Democrats come out and then they start to pander for the black vote, right? It's always something like, hey, you know, we're going to fix this or we're going to do this for you guys, blah, blah, blah. It happened before 2016. We saw freaking Hillary Clinton uh, doing all her her freaking podcasts they're all you know trying to get the black vote saying that she carries saying you know yeah exactly saying that she carries hot sauce in her purse um yeah bro she said she was she was she was on a podcast with what's his name freaking charlemagne the god right and he asked he asked her like like what do you carry in your purse or you know whatever like that and she said oh i you know i carry hot sauce for like my chicken wings or whatever the fuck she said no she did dude Look that up, bro. I swear to God, man. That was like the one thing everybody, everybody was like, "Oh yeah, you know, that's cool. Yeah, hell yeah, fucking like hot sauce in your purse, whatever." But, no, but that's the kind that's of sh- that's the, and that's the kind of thing you see, right? Like now they were coming up on elections. It was something had to happen, you know. For, for I think I think it's it's Biden now. It was gonna get the nomination. The Democratic, yeah. yeah. So there's. Unfortunately, there's always something where they try to push, you know, to get the black vote and stuff like that. Um, and unfortunately, this time it went a little, not a little, it went like too far. You know, if, yeah. um, you know, the the cops in Minneapolis, now they're saying they got rid of them. Like they're they're gone. There's no more cops in Minneapolis. That's what they were saying. Um, like there's no cops in Minneapolis. Yeah, they, they got the whole city. They got rid of the freaking police department there like everybody's fired they're gonna do something else i don't know what they're gonna do i guess freaking private security or something but like you know why do you, why do you get rid of the co- i mean get rid of the cops man like who are you gonna call now i tell you, i went to have a cigar on thursday <clears throat> with a whole bunch of <clears throat> excuse me with a whole bunch of like either retired uh le's or some type of the military whatever they, they've always they've always been in so you know they're 60 plus years old, so they've been they didn't seen a lot, them did a lot. Yeah. And it, and, and and it was this 23 23 year uh, sheriff. He's a big, big old six three cop, 260 pound cotton diesel bald tattooed white dude. Yeah. Looks like straight from uh uh uh, uh what is it um. Uh, American History X. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like straight. Like if you look at him, you like. 
he's a racist. That's what you think. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. He's got that look. Right? Yep. He got that. He's got it. He's tatted everywhere. He's just a big, strong, cop, diesel white dude, bald and everything. And then if you talk to him, you find out you know where he's from. <laughs> his dad's black as can be. Oh, yeah. And his mom's white. Yeah. And he says, he says, he says, and I'm, he says, I'm a cop. Right. My yeah. dad's black and my mom's white, but I look white. And people say I act black. He's like, I don't even know what that means. Hmm. He says, and I have a cop. And I'm a cop and my, my wife's a lawyer. We all fuck. And he said, my kids are mixed. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he said, he's like, he says, everybody that wants to not, you know, wants to be all big, bad, and supposed to, and he's a good dude, bro. Yeah. I mean, when I say a good dude, he's a good dude. He could be, he could really be a badass, but he's a good dude. He says, people that don't want to support the police and want to do this and they want to want to police out, he says, when this is all said and done, you should, you know, when you have your uh, license and it has organ donor, mm-hmm. you should have a supporter of uh, a first spon- first responder uh, supporter or not. So if you, you know, when you call 911 because your, your house got robbed into and it says non-supporter of, of the of, uh, first responder. Just leave you there. Just, just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Sorry, bro. I was just... like. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah, I mean, they have all kinds of designations for your license, like organ donors. You know, you, you have like the freaking veteran designator, and you know, a bunch of mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, if you don't want the cops to come save you or anything, then don't expect freaking paramedics, fire department, you know, anybody to show up. None. Yeah. None. None. Yeah. My dad's having a heart attack. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I saw it right here, man. Your license. So what are you well, calling us for? It. Yeah, I'm I want to change it. Mm. Sorry, bro. we have to wait thirty days, and uh, we got to wait thirty days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to we'll mail it out to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I mean, so like here, right? So we had um, a few nights ago, I guess. Um, I think in downtown Dallas exploded. You know, they they. Uh, had that one story about that guy that was trying to defend his business and they freaking dragged his ass out of his his uh, freaking business and they fucking stomped the looters. they stomped his head the in looters. yeah the looters stomped his fucking wow. head in uh, he was in the hospital I, I think I kept hearing different reports that he actually died but then somebody else said that he was in critical condition still but either way like you'd seen the video he was laying on the ground all twisted up and shit and blood came out of his head mm, um, what kind of story uh he was i think he was like an indian dude um i don't know I, he had a store downtown so i'm assuming it was some kind of gas station or something so you're talking about like a convenience store they, yeah they beat his ass for yeah. a, a convenience an older man yeah so he was i don't know if he was older i think he was like in his late 30s or something like that early 40s but okay. he um they, they dragged him out because he he had a machete so he was he was trying to stop people from coming in and they dragged his ass out and they just stomped him on the ground bro it was like 20 people on him when he was on the floor they were just kicking the shit out of him um, Seriously. yeah man so he's you know that was going on um I, I drove downtown the other day and like hooters was destroyed and there's a bunch of restaurants down there with all their windows busted in um what so, they do go steal some chicken i guess so man. i don't know what's going on <laughs> in there you know they were you know they were so like here here downtown there's not too many I mean, there's like a like a main street where they have a bunch of restaurants and hotels. But besides that, there's not stores like you see in other cities. There's no like Louis Vuitton stores. There's no stuff like that. That's kind of more uptown area where there's a bunch of people that have money. They have like nice restaurants there, nice hotels. They have Louis nobody's, Vuitton. Nobody's looting that. Nah, nah, not, not it, through there. Nobody's looting the, like I'm th- I, I asked one of the looters downtown. I, I pulled him when he was he was a he was a striker. I said, hey, why y'all looting Vons? Yeah. Like, why don't you, <laughs> why don't you go to, like, to La Jolla, like, La Jolla is, like, 20 minutes up the road, Yeah, it ain't nothing but, like, Lamborghini, Gucci, Prada, you know what I'm saying, if y'all really want to go loot, yeah. go loot over there, go go take all that shit over there, because one, is worth something, at least, right. stop, you stealing Pepsi. Yeah, yeah man, <laughs> it's a trip, I mean, I, I don't live, I don't live directly I mean, I live close to downtown. It takes about eight minutes to get here, like on the on the highway, mm-hmm. um, but it's not like walking distance. So, you know, we can hear the helicopters all night. 
Um, right. There's a bunch of Targets around here, like Walmart, stuff like that. Um, drove by Target the other day, and they had, like, all the windows boarded up. I don't know if it was because some people got in or they're just trying to prevent it before it even happens. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, that's, like, right around the corner, like, you know, so it's it's it's, it's getting closer out this way. Um, you know, like they said, they're going to start going into the neighborhoods. Um, we'll see if that happens. But I mean, here in Texas, downtown, pe- like the people downtown are more like the liberal side, especially where I live around here. There's a lot of people with money. Um, but once you start getting out, like into Plano, Texas, like Frisco and all that area, um, those are people that, you know, they carry guns. Um, you come up over there, you're getting killed. Yeah, man. Like they carry guns and like they have ranches and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people around here as well that carry, but it's more of like the liberal side of, of everything, you know, freaking Dallas is Democrat, like crazy. Um, so there's a lot of college students here as well. The college is right across the street here, freaking SMU. Um, so, I mean, it's, these areas would be kind of more where they would want to go and they, they would be able to get, you know, get away with it. Um, but once they started pushing into those other areas, they said they wanted to go to like Rockwall and these areas out here. Well, that's more country folk, but I mean, good luck. <laughs> that's, you all, know. All, all, that's what I say. You, 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 they, they, I know people in San Diego, like some of the some of the hoods, were saying they about to go up to Santee uh, because that's we all know that's it, where San Diego. That's where a lot of white supremacists do stay. We know that. Yeah. And they said they was gonna go over there and wreck shop on them. Mm. Man, they, <laughs> them, them white supremacists boarded up their shit. You get what I'm saying? They say, mm-hmm. bring it on. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> come on this way. Yeah. He's like, we ain't messing with you. But don't come over here messing with us. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I respect that whole heart. I just say, yeah. at the end of the day, bro, if 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 we would just stop to take out these emotions and then ask questions and let people be hit them however they want to be. You get what I'm saying? If you was to tell me, man, all I like to eat is pork. And I say, well, I, I don't eat pork. Do we have to beef now or we can't kick it now just because we have a difference? We can't go have a drink because we don't eat the same yeah. thing. And that's, and I know that's, you know, it sounds that petty, but that's what it is on a major scale yeah. of all this division. Mm-hmm. It's like, I think this and you don't think like that. I don't like you. Yeah. Oh, you don't like me. I don't like you. Hey, homeboy, you don't like him either. No, we don't like him. Either. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Next thing you know. We got this thing that has spread it faster than Corona. Yeah, man. Like exploded. One man's one man's death has caused plenty. You know, fifty five. It was fifty five million dollars worth of damage in um, Minneapolis. Yeah. Yep. And and I found out today. Guess what? When you when you when you when you have a business uh, destroyed because of looting, it's not covered it's under not insurance. Covered. Yeah. And that's the argument that I hear all the time. Right? Is like, so what? You know these these business people have insurance well not everybody a lot of <laughs> a lot of insurance a lot of insurance companies don't cover small businesses for whatever reason right, right? right. so you had that the gentleman in minneapolis he was he was a black a black fireman worked all his life finally retired got the money to open the bar he had always dreamed of this was like his dream right mm-hmm. to open a bar and they burned his shit down to the ground bro that's crazy bro and everybody's like well he has insurance right it's, it's just stuff it's just a bar like you can always re- no nah, bro he didn't have no insurance right mm-hmm. what about these other people that they save up their whole life for whatever they make their own business they've been struggling right. their whole lives they fucking put their kids to the school this and that and they're finally just kind of chilling like hey we did everything we set out to do now we can just live out the rest of our life and then their shit gets burned Rip, down ripped it away yeah ripped man it away. people don't have no insurance and then they say it's it's just material stuff well, no, that's life to that's you, life. bro. It's to, it's material to you, you know. To them, that's some mortgage payment. That's that's groceries right. for the next week. That's a car yeah, payment. That's yeah. yeah, bro. Like, I mean, I get it, bro. It sucks. Like George Floyd, he died. The dude, I mean, the, the cops that did it, they all four were arrested, right? All charged right. for murder and whatever, you know. They're done. It's you know, it's it's <laughs> sad. Done. Like it's sad and everything. But where does this whole rioting, looting thing come in into play? Like, where does that? Where, I mean, I anger, anger, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I nonsense. Mean, a reason to do you, you, it's, bro. 
you, you think about it, bro. If you give people an opportunity that are having a, like, everybody is feeding emotion. Like, fear feeds emotion. Uh, and pl- uh, all this celebritizing uh, black lives matter, all my lives matter, my yeah. lives matter, your life, ma- whatever. All that is celebritizing an emotion. Yeah. It's, it's stirring up an emotion. Like, I was downtown doing my little thug thing and walking, and you hear this, you just hear people with megaphones like yelling, <laughs> and then, like, the crowd go, <sighs> yeah. I'm like, so they just fed your emotion. Okay, what is the solution? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once you once you tell me the solution, now we talking. Yeah. Now we moving. You get what I'm saying? Yep. And I and, and I think it, I think like this: if if I had if I had a, a heart if I had even heart surgery, are they going to get a, a million heart surgeons to work on my heart, or are they going to get one specified guy that knows what he's doing? You don't need masses to make a solution. You just need precision. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Or or every time we go to the military takes a country or the goes to fight a war, you know what I'm saying? It would be tens and millions of people that's uh, affiliated with the military going at one time. No, they can go ahead and take a whole city with one unit. Yeah. Precision, training, strategy, time, movement. You know, solution oriented. Get the mission accomplished and get done. All this bullshit right here is, I'm mad. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah, man, it's true. I mean, so you, you you talk about like the celebrities doing their part, I guess. Um, so now you have this whole movement of celebrities in Hollywood talking about they're starting funds to get people out of jail that were protesting, right? Um, and not, I mean, if it was just protesters, nobody has a problem with protesting, you know, yeah, walk the streets yeah. and do, you know, do your thing like you're supposed to. That's, that's your God given right here in America. Right. Um, yeah. but what they're talking about is bailing people out of jail that were rioting and looting and stuff like that. Um, I think in Minneapolis, they arrested a whole bunch of people and they didn't charge them with anything and they just let them go like out of jail again. Here you go. Like all the looters and rioters. Um, so i mean i don't understand so you had this whole thing when the coronavirus was going on in jails where they were letting inmates out of jail because of the coronavirus right Mm -hmm. so i guarantee you all this shit that's going down right now those those dudes are in there somewhere starting shit instigating stuff you know like that was the the plan i mean i don't want to get all freaking conspiracy theory and stuff but that was you know they knew something was coming you know they just let them out so, because this this is what I don't understand. They're letting people out of jail for the coronavirus, but on the back end, they're arresting people that are opening their businesses and putting them in jail. It's a fucking cycle, bro. It's a, so... it's a fucking it's a fucking cycle. If, if we have not, if we are not smart enough to see that this is a the fucking cycle yeah. of of getting led to the meat trap. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Watch this. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna arrest people for uh, we're gonna arrest people for opening up their business during Corona. Yeah. But we're gonna let people out for Corona. Mm-hmm. And then here's the thing: pause right there. Say say that was it. Do we have a cop kill? Do we have a cop and a, a, a kill a black man? Pretty much. If if you look at the nation, would you say it happens every day? No. Nah. You wouldn't say it happens. Would it happen every week? Maybe. Okay, so every week, right? <clears throat> So here's the thing. Say it happens every week. Say it happens every month. Just right. once a month, a, 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 a cop kills a black man. Because that's what it is. It's not for fuck white. It's a cop kills a black man, right? You just had corona. You just let all the, you just let all, I mean, a whole bunch of, I mean, people that was in jail, whether they was innocent or not, but people that was in jail, you don't be happy in jail. You're not like, Man, this is a great time. I cannot <laughs> wait to just stay in here. You got caged animals that has to defend their life, get free, hear about a, 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 a cop killing a black man. You get what I'm saying? Yep. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> what yeah. you, you, you didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was like, what do you think if you, like, you, 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 you stay in Texas? Texas is a proud state. Yep. If, if, if Texas, if there was a, 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 a Texas man that was in in high regard, you get what I'm saying? Like good to the the state of Texas, born, bred, 
generational Texan. Yeah. Was brutally murdered by uh, a, a L.A. cop. Is Texas going to stand up? Man, we're our own country, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Texas is a country. It's not a state. You know, They're going to stand up, right? Yeah. It's going to be all hell going to break loose. I mean, we know Texas is in every single state in the in the country. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Man, belt buckles is going to come out and boots and hats, <laughs> hats. and shotguns. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And but but what do you expect? Just like if you was the if some of your family was hurt. You get what I'm saying? You post to stand up. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? So like I say, bro, I think this is all a cycle of you know, beat the emotion and then put people in jail for the uh for the for the reaction while while guess what a whole bunch of people are doing uh sitting back you know what i'm saying like we talk about celebrities letting people you know paying for jails people out of jail like i like floyd what he did he paid for the funeral yeah i i like that that's yeah. what you, you know he's like i don't know who's right i don't know who's wrong i'm just gonna pay for the funeral that that i'm gonna do i'm gonna, I'm gonna take that ease off you get yeah. what i'm saying yeah or kanye paying saying he's gonna pay for for, for his daughter's college yeah. that's how you that's how you call you like oh don't worry we know what happened but let me do something that's going to take the burden off of you let me make sure that a black man not being in his family because we know that's a problem a, a, a black man not in the family or in, not in the home um is is you're more susceptible to have a criminal lifestyle yeah yeah you get what family. i'm saying it starts with the family at the house man exactly you know but they but you got other black men that stepped up that understand they didn't come from this their first generation success you get what i'm saying it wasn't yeah. passed down it was bootstrapped mm -hmm. and they say because i did what i need to do i can help you do what you what what what, what you need to get done you know what i'm saying yeah. that's how you do a solution and they saying the white man holds you down well make sure the black dollars can pay for it yeah <laughs> yeah man and it's like like it's like like you just said right it starts in the home you know, be a strong father figure for your kids. Um, mm -hmm. Show them that you're respecting their mother at home. You know, sit down and have dinner with your kids. That's what we do with my son all the time, right? So my wife, uh, my dad, stuff like that, he'll come over and we just kind of all sit down and no TV, no phones, nothing's going on. We're just sitting there eating dinner together. How was your day? How was your day? What happened today? Mm -hmm. You know, what's going on with you? Do you have anything to do with this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and we sit there maybe about a half hour, and then everybody goes off and does whatever they're gonna do. But you have to make a point at some point throughout the day to reach out to your family, connect with everybody, see how everybody's doing. So you know, some people they don't give a shit about their kids, bro. They just out there in the streets, and then they come home late at night. They don't even say hi whenever. to their parents, or yeah, if they, they even come whenever. home. <laughs> and then you know they just go to their room, and they don't even talk to their parents. Parents don't care. They just go off to work, or they go off with whatever, blah blah blah. That's that, how I was raised. Yeah, I mean, so was I, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I, you know, out in the streets, you know, whatever, just all day, come home at night, just eat and sleep, right? Go to school tomorrow just and then make, do it again. Just make sure you go to school. Just make yeah, sure you go to yeah. school. Because once they get that truancy call, then it's like, hey, where you been? It's like, oh, it's shit. It's a problem. Yeah, now it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's pretty much how it is, you know, and it's, it's I mean, it's, it's sad. And so now you see this whole thing with Drew Brees, like he's getting shit over it as well. Can I tell you right. something? I don't even I don't even know. Listen, I don't even know what they said. He I didn't even hear it. I, I don't know. I haven't even watched the video of George Floyd. I didn't watch the one with the other dude yeah. uh, and the other dude fighting over a shotgun. I ain't watched none of it, you know, because I know I can be an emotional dude. And yes, I am a black man yeah. and I do have emotions. I, you know what I'm saying? But I, I like to think clearly so I don't watch shit that makes me judge my, you know, that alters my thinking. Yeah. But the situation with Drew Brees. This is my thing. I don't know what he said. I don't know why he said it. I don't, you know, talking about, I guess he did something about disrespecting the flag. The flag okay. Yeah. Okay. At the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. Why is your teammate was, um, who was it? The safety. I can't think. I forget his teammate. Um, oh, I remember. Malcolm Jenkins. Malcolm okay. Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins went on, I guess, on a rant in the locker room talking about Drew Brees, how he fucked up. Yeah. Okay. Now, you come from a military. You come from the military. How many times have we seen somebody fuck up in the military real, real bad? Like, real, 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 real bad. 
Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it was in house. Yeah. We took care of it in house. Why is you talking about this man that you go to battle with? Your right. quarterback. Yeah. And then he apologized. So you have to respect a man. He fucked up, made a mistake. He said what he said. You know what I'm saying? I guess he got counseling, his publicist. I don't care who it is, but he out in the open, the same way he talked about shit, he out in the open, took his licks, and manned up and say, yo, my bad. I did watch the video when he apologized. Yeah. Dude, he took, he took crap from everybody, bro. Everybody was coming out. Freaking Ed Reed was like, Drew Brees, you're a sucker, bro. Like, you're, you know, you're a sucker. Straight up, huh? Yeah, yeah, straight out, bro. He didn't care. And that was, like, he just called him out on, like, online, like, on ESPN. It was all over ESPN, on Instagram, on Twitter. Like, straight out calling him a sucker. Like, you're a sucker, bro. Like, this and that. And the dude was just, like, the next day he came out, he was like, oh, you know, my bad. He even came out and, and was talking shit about Trump, like, you know, Trump, like, stop, you know, like, all your racist stuff and this and that. That was Drew Brees. <laughs> I was like, come on, bro. What's what's going on? You know. All I'm saying is be be consistent and stay with you. And stay with if you if you if you if you fuck with Trump. Yeah. If you fuck with Drew, if you, I don't care. Like I don't do politics. Yeah. I don't just because everybody's like I don't fuck with them and yeah. I don't fuck with them and I man fuck you man. Get, worry about yourself. Worry about your family. Make shit happen for yourself. And then guess what? Then you become your own economy. Right. Once you become your own economy, you ain't got to worry about what people think. And you can do what you want to do. You can support who you want to support. But as long as your house is in, in, in order, because mm-hmm. I tell you this, if I had a, a, a storefront and they burn my building down, I'm looking for houses to go burn your shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you what it feels like. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because you're taking people's livelihood. Mm-hmm. This is like when they close down these targets, these hundred targets and shit. Bro, that's people that work there. Yeah. We were just looting that shit just to get some. We were just fighting to get tissue paper, bro. Yeah. yeah. We were just fighting everybody black women, black men, white women, white men, Asians, Mexicans, kids, all over the fucking country. Yeah. Over tissue paper. Now we want to bond together and bind together because of what? Because we feed them our emotions. Yeah. You feed them our emotions. Yeah, it was crazy in the freaking toilet paper wars of 2020 bro it was, <laughs> people, were, people were out there fighting each other in the grocery stores bro for toilet paper but i go to the grocery store just now guess what it's in rows and rows and rows of tissue paper you couldn't like you couldn't buy like more than one you couldn't buy more than one case of water right it was like what's going on bro like and then everybody was fighting in the parking lots everybody was fighting in the aisles for toilet paper <laughs> Come on, it wasn't even that bad. Like, how much, how much do you shit I'm every CD. day? You know, like right, right. That was the first time I went and got toilet. Paper. I didn't get toilet paper. I didn't even go because I was like, I like to fight too much. Yeah. And if somebody tried to get me for some toilet paper, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna let the fuck loose. <laughs> Look, yeah. I'm going off everywhere. You gonna fight me over some tissue paper? Tissue paper? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I didn't even go to the store. So I just went to the store. What? last week to get tissue paper from the first time and i'm like oh well, i didn't know that you know the tissue paper all, all this is here it don't seem like it's a shortage yeah you know i shit four times a day man <laughs> stop eating so much bro. <laughs> it's green and floats it's green yeah. and it floats damn yeah man yeah i mean so i mean i guess i don't know what's gonna happen now like we're gonna see the end of it so it's gonna i mean some of like when do you think, I guess, reasonably, this thing is gonna kind of, kind of die down, and until the next thing happens. Until the next, exactly. What's the, like, what's the next, what's the next thing that's gonna pop up? Man? Who knows? Who, yeah. who knows? Maybe, maybe the mosquitoes will come back, or the wasps, or the, the hornets, the, or the killer hornets. Yeah. Right. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm just waiting for the next. Maybe they say if you looked, you know, everybody that you was wearing masks is it, it, susceptible to CO two. The uh, viruses and yeah. shit, because you know, uh, or if you know, hand sa- all hand, sa- you know, this kind of brand of hand sanitizer was causing cancer. You know, I'm waiting for all this, all this extra, 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 extra shit cause causing something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's all I'm waiting for is the re- the residue. So it's it's like everybody's excessively washing their hands all the time, putting on like freaking sanitizer, right? So you're you're killing like naturally 
like like natural germs that you need to help you know build up your immunity right like people are, <laughs> people are staying in, like in the house nobody's going outside nobody's catching like the regular stuff they catch every year right so when people right. finally go outside people are gonna get sick like crazy man like they're not used Just to it anymore like yeah i mean I, I would usually catch like a cold here and there especially when the seasons turn like now we're getting back into summer i, I would have usually been sick by now um mm-hmm. but staying up like on vitamin c and all that good stuff going out in the sun right but i mean who knows like when we finally get back into winter is it going to flare back up again like what's going to happen you know it's everybody's just kind of hanging around now with nothing to do but fucking loot shit and it's it's crazy i don't know exactly what we're going to end up doing but it's going to be crazy until i'm going to make a prediction that until the elections happen the next day everything's going to magically disappear no i take that back i take that back i know when it's going to flare back up you ready yeah yeah when sports come back on <laughs> watch when sports come back on <laughs> Dude. When sports when sports comes back on, I promise you, mark my word. When yeah. it comes back on, people will start fucking up again. <laughs> Man, it's yeah, it's somebody going somebody's going to kneel, yeah. or somebody's going to say something. Some you know, because just watch, so, you know, because it's all going to be like. So uh, LeBron, you know, now that you won the NAS, I mean the the NBA finals. How do you feel about Corona and George Floyd? Because you know he's going to do like a trick. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's going to be always brought up. You I'm get waiting. what I'm saying? We're going to have football and basketball at the same time. Yeah. So they're going to start, you know, because it's going to be time. end of yeah. the day. What? Just what? Drew yeah. Brees going to have to come back in there. He's going to come out they with like some ask- kind of shirt that says Black Lives Matter or something, <laughs> you know, something like. You know it, bro. Something's going to end up happening. There's going to be some kind of wristband coming out or something. Or right. I got shoot. I'm thinking Colin Kaepernick is going to go play for Robert Kraft. And- <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> dude, they're all over that dude, too. It's- they on his head. He ain't saying shit. He's like, man, I'm not even in this. Yeah. That is- He's like, that's not what I was talking about. Yeah. I'm over that. I'm grown. I got kids and shit. I got a new girl. I got a new career. My, you know what I'm saying? He's like he's got a lifetime a contract with Nike now, so he's good. Yeah, yeah bro, you don't care. That, that's what he wanted. So whatever. Yeah, yeah, man. It's gonna be crazy. Definitely the next, like I, like you said, until sports starts or the elections are over. Um, I, I, I feel like it's gonna get worse. Like something else is just gonna happen. That's gonna get crazy. 2021 gonna be a hell of a year, bro. It's gonna be all downhill once. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean. Obviously, we got to get all these people back to work. Business is open. People got to just kind of try to go back to some kind of normalcy in their life. Um, you know, but I mean, like, how? You know, how does that? <laughs> how I, don't does... Even, I don't even. It feels weird just going to the store and having these little plexiglass shits yeah. everywhere. You get... Dude, I don't you can't like even. That shit. You can't even. Like, there's some stores here that have freaking signs, like, on the door, like, you have to wear a mask to go in, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is fine. That's their, you know, their business. They can do whatever they want. But it's just weird, like, just having to walk around. I mean, those masks ain't going to do shit for you, bro. It's still going to go bro, through. You're still going to get sick. Bro, if, if it's not a filtered mask, and those are not filtered masks, those yeah. 95 masks are not, it, it, it says it will not. It tells you what it won't do. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Those yeah. masks... You better get you a full-fledged gas mask that has a filtering system in it to think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you need. You, th- you think hazmat goes in with a little N95 mask, you know, in, around their ears and says, "This is gonna take. This is gonna make sure that this, you know, that my body's secure from yeah. breathing in." <laughs> the only the only reason like doctors and stuff wear those masks is just so that they don't get their shit onto patients, right? Absolutely. It's not to block anything coming in. Exactly. Yeah, man, it's... it's it's the it's the fluids, fluids like yeah. blood and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's this is ridiculous. But that's how you know a whole bunch of people are follow, are, are 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 feared and and followers. Yeah, I'm, that's that's the that's the this biggest distinguished thing that I can see that's been shown is that you see people that are very fearful, and when when fearful they follow whatever's been being said or whatever feeds their emotion. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know. It's definitely going to be interesting. I'll definitely be following everything closely and see what's going on. But, I mean, the only thing we can kind of just do now is just kind of brace and see what happens. Just be uh, entertained. Pretty much. I mean. I've been entertained. I ain't going to lie. My business is being good. 
my life is getting better doing all this i'm so happy i'm i wish i was hoping corona was gonna last the whole year <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was hoping it was, gonna, it was no traffic. Oh, dude. There was no people outside. <laughs> yeah, man. It was it was good for a while there. There was you know you could drive everywhere and stuff. Right. Yeah. Just it was it was good. The air is clean. The water's clearer. Yeah. Dude. I like all. I love it. I was like, shit. I might. Do they got Corona anywhere else? Because I want to go there. <laughs> yeah. so they were saying like the canals of, of in Venice, Italy, was like clear for the first time ever. Dude. See? Then there was dolphins freaking going around in there and shit, like stuff that just that never like, happened, you know? Right, exactly. And that's how you know it's, it's us. The world had to shut down. <laughs> yeah, we're we're killing the world. <laughs> you, you can see like the air in India, like you know that's just bad in China. They, you know, L.A. Yeah, LA. yeah, yeah. Everything was bluer, nice. But oh, did somebody put on the HD? Yeah, bro. Is, did, did somebody turn on the HD? I see all the colors. That's crazy, man. Yeah, Mitch. The sky's not yellow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so where was like so? One thing that I that I never saw out here, if the coronavirus was a big thing, I never saw no homeless people get it, bro. Anywhere. Because they have a fucking great immune system. Right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> kind of hanging around in the streets all day, but I mean, you know, especially like in California, you would expect, like in LA out there, that that shit would have run through all of them, bro. I talk to I talk to homies all the time. Like it's funny. They be like, "Man, fuck Corona." They, they said I like crack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a trip. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, they're it's a good thing, you know, that they didn't kind of get it because they would have spread that shit even further. But oh yeah, yeah, it's I mean, you know, it's it, it's good, I guess, but. Mitch, bro, I appreciate your time, man. Um, why don't you go ahead and let everybody know where they can follow you, where they can find you, you know, your podcast and all that kind of stuff. Man, man you, I appreciate you having me, man. Like, uh, I love, I love, like, we've always had conversations, and I love challenging intellectual conversations right. outside of emotion. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of a lot of people can probably um, uh, misperceive what your 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 um, your your path of your message based because of their of their bigoted emotion you right. know what i'm saying <laughs> but I, I really appreciate you actually you know never changing and never being um subjected to anybody else's belief or right. opinion but also not 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 letting it take yours off you know keep it making it move your your stuff you take everything in you know what i mean you listen and then you have something to say and it's a good way to be educated and also stay intelligent and be solution oriented. So I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Like 100%. And I mean that from the bottom. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, man. I appreciate your time. Um, well, like I said, I, I've been following like podcasts on Facebook all the time. And you know, I read your posts. You know, I, I always chime in there as well whenever I can. But um, yeah, man. I'm just... on three blocks average a day. Three blocks you? average a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's rough. Like. You know, there's a lot of people that they just they're just too emotional, man. Like, um, I think I posted when you posted something the other day. Um, I actually got like a friend off of one of your groups there. Um, I forgot her name. I think it was Pam. Pam uh, Tucker. I think so. I think I got her here somewhere. She friend requested me the other day. She's a cool lady, um, like an older lady. Um, oh, you said older white lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Pam Tucker. That's that's she's such a sweetheart. I love her to death. Joanne Kimball. I'm sorry. Oh no, I know. Yeah, she she's dope too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on there. And, you know, we we're just kind of talking about everything that was going on. But yeah, man. I mean, the emotions are running wild right now. I think we just gotta kind of sit back, drink Smoke everything in. <laughs> you guys can do that out there, but we can't do that here in Texas. Oh yeah, <laughs> well drink your whiskey. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we 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 smoke the we you know we roll up one. I think that's what I'm saying. If everybody just come together, you know, either smoke a cigar, drink a drink, light a blunt, you know what I'm saying, get some food, yeah. and let's have a conversation. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like like you said, get back to the dinner table. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And have these open forums about hey, how's your day? Yeah. How, what's going on with you? Hey, do you need anything? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because if we did that, bro, 
Yeah. And we'll be in a better place, bro. Yeah, Lord knows we'll we need it right now. <laughs> Lord knows we need it right now. Yeah. I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave the country. This is made me <laughs> want to leave. I'm, <laughs> is, I'm going to Finland. Uh-oh. With the eyes up. <laughs> Finland. Come over here. I'm. These is my friends. Yeah. Don't come over here fucking with them. They'll eat your face. Damn, eat your face, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Mitch, man. I, I appreciate your time. Like I said, um, I'll definitely be hitting you back up. We can maybe 100%. do another one here real shortly. Uh, more shortly. We'll do another podcast here soon. Um, just kind of see where we are in the next week or so, maybe two weeks. And see what's, you know, what's actually come out of all this and, you know, where we're... You call our answer. answer. Yes, sir. I appreciate it, man. Um, so I'll get with you after this and then um, we'll go from there, bro. I appreciate it. 100%, man. I appreciate you, bro. Keep it, keep it, keep doing what you're doing and keep... Uh... Making people agitated. <laughs> Always, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We, just, we can take care of it in the streets, bro. All right. Likewise, I'm about to I'm about to go uh, uh go turn my music up uh, on "Fuck the Police" in, in downtown and see if <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see if I can get everybody riled up and then yeah. leave and then take off. <laughs> Stir shit up and then leave. Hell. I'm just playing. If it's recording, I'm just playing. I'm not doing that. I had nothing to do with it. I'm in Mission Valley. He's got to live forever on the internet right here. Right, right. You'll see me soon. All yeah. right. All right, bro. Take it easy, man. All right, bro. Take Much love, man. G. You too, bro. Later.